What up, y'all? You know what it is. Your boy Hellfire with MachineMasters.com. About to check out another dope sample pack real quick. Um, today I got a sample pack by a um, real talented guy named G Coop. Um, this one's called That Ain't The Way You Make Love. Um, if you don't know who G Coop is, uh, G Coop is a really talented musician who uh, specializes in interpolations. Um, interpolations are basically uh, where you take a sample um, and you basically replay um, all the instruments individually on your own. Um, it's a real uh, cost-efficient way to get around sample clearances and, uh, and, and legal things like that. Um, so that's basically what we got today. Um, it's a stem pack um, of a performance that uh, he put together. So we're just gonna go through it and see what we got. Um, we got a nice electric bass. A block snare. Wind chime. A nice cymbal. And then you got a live guitar. And uh, what I like about this is um, it's actually amp guitar. You can even hear the, the guitar amplifier noise buzzing in the background. Kick drum, live kick, normally uh, I think he, re he records all this stuff in his home studio but this kit sounds like um, it may have been recorded in a much larger studio with a bigger live room because a lot of the instruments sound you know um, like a hundred percent authentic <laughs> Like this piano, you can tell, you can tell this piano was mic'd up um, as they played it because you can hear the headphone noise in it. You can hear uh, people talking in the background. You can hear the room noise. Um, it just it sounds a hundred percent authentic. Got another, that was a high piano. You got a low piano. All right, and then you got a snare drum. It's like a break. You got a little string section. And then one of the one of my favorite parts about it is that he had vocalists come in and uh and uh sing the vocals on top of it. And it sounds like this. That ain't the way you make love. We could just take a look at these uh, at the waveforms, see see what they look like. I trimmed them up for the video, just you know. But uh, like I said, these are all stems. Um, I think it's almost uh, 30 bars. It's like a short um, so clip of a song that he uh, arranged. But uh, you know, you can see these are whole stem files. 
Now, I reloaded the sounds back up because it was one other thing I wanted to show you. Um, if you take a look at the file names, you'll see that uh, G. Coop put the tempo of, of the performance in the file names. So what you can do is you can actually punch that into your sequencer. And then you can go ahead and we can just draw these notes in here like so. turn my bars up I'll give it about 26 bars and we can just play this back and see um, having the individual control over each um, separate instrument um, gives you a lot of different options as far as you know what you can actually do with this material um, you can go ahead and you know chop this stuff all up and make your own kits out of it you can uh, you know play the whole thing back like I just did and resample it back in and you know loop any part you want uh, it's, you know so much stuff you can do with this you can check it out on his site um, sample replay society .com. Um, it's only $35 and the samples come um, studio quality 24-bit um, also if you want to see how he makes these um, these types of performances and, and kits he has his uh, YouTube channel you can go in there and you know see him in uh, his boy old man put together you know these types of uh, uh, these types of records and uh, you know basically how they how they make all this come about um, and uh, also again check out machinemasters.com check out hellfirebeats.com peace see y'all in the next one